Okay, so for this question, it's quite simple. Um, where we are just asked to talk about what? To tabulate the sesamoid bones against the tendons of the muscles within which they develop. All right? So sesamoid bones and the tendons of the muscles in which they develop. Another way of reconstructing the question. So we have it here just quite simple, just a table here. But let's define what is a sesamoid bone. We said that a sesamoid bone is what? A small and rounded bone that is embedded within what? Tendons, okay? So if you see here that what? This is a quadricep tendon. You can see the patella bone is like inside the tendon. You get it. So uh, these bones actually act as pulleys. If you remember our physics days where we are talking about pulleys and all of stuff. So they act as pulleys providing a smooth surface for the tendons to actually glide over, okay? And this will actually what increase the mechanical advantages of the tendon, okay? So we we'll look at them, each one we call, we we'll go to look at the picture. So we have patella, commonly known as kneecap, is found in quadricep tendon, just like I've told you guys, it's quadricep tendon, this is patella. They will have the hallux sesamoids. These ones are found in the big toe, okay? It's a big toe. So you have sesamoid bones here. Okay. And what is the uh, tendon of the muscle they are found in? It's flexor hallucis longus tendon. Okay. Flexor hallucis longus tendon. This image here is labeled flexor brevis. Okay. But that should be flexor hallucis longus tendon. Okay. Then we have sesamoid bones found in the hand. So we have two tendons that contain sesamoid bones in the hand. Uh, there are sesamoid bones in the flexor pollicis brevis and the adductor pollicis, okay, tendon, okay. So you can take your atlas and look at these muscles. Then we have sesamoid bones in the feet, okay. Sesamoid bones in the feet too is the flexor hallucis brevis tendon, okay. So I think this one that was liberated was actually the flexor hallucis brevis. But the flexor hallucis longus also contains what? This um, hallux sesamoids, okay? So on that basis, they are not really much in the body. So that's why it's, it's a good question to ask because it's something that is mostly neglected by students, okay? So that's it for the sesamoid bones and the tendons, types of sesamoid bones and the tendons of the muscles within which they develop. Cute question.